Have you ever driven by the National Weather Service Northern Indiana and wondered, what is inside that big white ball? Well, today is your lucky day. Let's take a look inside the KIWX Doppler Radar. The KIWX Radar is one of 164 radars located in the United States, Guam, and Puerto Rico. The IWX Radar is shown here in the red circle. Each radar can reach out to about 280 miles, so they're placed in the United States so that most of the U.S. is covered by a radar. There are three buildings on the base of the radar tower that help control and power the radar. So let's take a look inside the first one of these buildings. The first building contains a computer that can control the radar remotely, as well as the energy source that powers the radar. The energy source that powers the radar is known as the klystron. This piece of equipment generates the radiation the radar uses to send out microwave pulses. The energy generated by the klystron is then sent up the radar tower through a series of wires and into a waveguide in the pedestal which is located inside the radar dome. Here the radiation is then sent out through a series of microwave pulses. There is a beautiful view from the top of our radar. We can see in every direction for a good 20 to 30 miles, including many of the beautiful lakes in the area. If you are a member of our electronics staff, you better not be scared of heights because the last steps up into the actual radar dome itself are very steep. The transmitted power continues up the waveguide, which is in the center of the pedestal, and goes up to the antenna where it is transmitted out to detect precipitation and other objects. The parabolic dish is 28 feet in diameter, and the dish and pedestal together weigh several tons. Due to the weight distribution of the dish on one side, there is a counterweight pictured here, which acts to balance the weight of the dish. This animation demonstrates exactly how a radar works. The pulse is sent out where it then detects objects such as precipitation, and power is returned to the radar where it is then processed and turned into the radar image you see on a screen. The reflected power is collected by the concave portion of the parabolic dish. We can adjust the radar to employ several different scanning strategies, depending on what type of storm environment we have. We can change the speed that the dish moves and also change the elevation levels in which slices are taken. Inside of the radar pedestal is where the radar's motor as well as the waveguide is located. The area inside the radar pedestal is very small, but our electronic staff have to go inside of here several times a year to do things such as cleaning out major components of the radar or also fixing issues with the motor. Inside of the pedestal is where the waveguide takes a signal back down to the ground where it is processed into the radar imagery that we see. Now that we have seen all of the components of the radar up in the dome, let's head back down to the ground. Let's take a look inside the second of the three buildings at the radar complex. Inside this building is a large diesel generator. This generator will start up and run when commercial power to the radar is disrupted. Now let's take a look at the last of the three buildings at the radar site. This building houses the Uninterruptible Power Supply, or UPS. The UPS ensures a continuous flow of power to the radar site between commercial power disruptions and the activation of the backup generator. We hope you enjoyed the tour of the KIWX Doppler Radar. Thank you for joining us.